Hello YouTube, this is Pop Culture Hero with a review of Walmart exclusive Beachcomber and Deadlift. Okay, we'll take Beachcomber away. Here is Deadlift we'll start with. He is a homage to a GoBot from the 1980s, um, rival to Transformers toy line. Uh, Spoons. Spoons was the GoBot. This is Deadlift. I'm not sure if he was a renegade um, back in GoBots, but um, anyway, he's a con now. So he's got nice silver accents that I just pointed out. Um, brown wheels. So it's really realistic looking compared to Dirt Boss. Uh, these are really, in, in just my opinion, this is a more common color scheme for a forklift in the real world. So uh, mold seems to have degraded a bit, I'm afraid, because it's kind of... Uh, these hinges for the back arms are not giving very well, and basically the joints are really stiff compared to Dirt Boss, um, to the point that the ball joints like to pop off and things. But uh, Walmart's exclusive here d does come with some nice paint applications and color choices, really bright orange. Um, some nice blue in the chest and some really great silver on the lower arms, lower legs, and lower feet. Uh, basically it is a lot more serious looking than Dirt Boss and I think yeah it's it's a good figure overall for this reason and especially if you're a fan of spoons. They go by. Alright so there he is the full form factor of this mighty forklift. Here's Beachcomber, of course, a Generation 1 Minibot character. And Beachcomber is still a kind of dune buggy thing uh, with his gun. It's very similar to his Universe Legends figure, having these weapons up top. But this is being scouted as has more articulation for these guns, or use of utility. And if you'll check out the back, there are some molded gun clips, which I thought was a nice touch. Uh, they're molded in white just below the guns. Uh, you'll see these headlights on the top and bottom with yellow paint applications, very uh, indi indicative of Beachcomber, both the G1 figure and the Legends. Now, uh, Beachcomber's transformation is really standard. You just lift up the chest plate, and once you get that free, you just rotate the main section around and uh, you rotate the waist around which just make for a nice bit of waist articulation in robot mode and that's basically it um, the hardest thing about Beachcomber is really since he's packaged in robot mode um, you're going to have you may have some difficulty getting all the panels lined up for vehicle mode but that's really more of a squeeze and a lining up of the doors than anything else So there he is, Beachcomber, and robot mode, you get to play with the arm joints and the guns, so that's lots of fun. Uh, so, there they are, Derp, um, not Derp Boss, uh, Deadlift and Beachcomber. Really awesome, um, probably fan favorite selection of the two Walmart exclusive scout packs.